In this video, I will show you how to create a listing website with WordPress. I will specifically show you how to create a car listing website using WordPress. With this website, you will be able to add listings as a site owner and even allow other sellers to sell on your website for free or at a fee. In this video, I will show you how visitors can send messages to your sellers and even show you how sellers can reply to those messages. In this video, I will show you how to take a fee from your sellers to have their listings on your website. I will show you how to create the various pricing packages to increase your revenue. I will even show you how you can add blog posts to your website to increase traffic. In this video, I will show you how to get your own custom domain name and web hosting. I will even show you how to install WordPress on your website. WordPress is the free software that we will use to create our website and also customize it the way we want. I will show you how to create this beautiful hero section with animated text. I will show you how to do all this with a simple to use drag and drop page builder so that you won't need any programming or coding knowledge. This video is going to be a long one, so I will leave timestamps in the description so that you can move to any part of the tutorial. So, if you want to learn how to make this beautiful car listing website, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sadiq here at Tiku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. So to make our car listing website, we are going to use only free resources. The only thing we need to pay for is a domain name and a web hosting, which is a standard for every website. But if you already have a domain name and a web hosting, you can move to the next part of the video. So to get a domain name, click on the very first link in the description down below or you go over to your browser and enter dikupages.com slash asura hit enter this brings us to asura hosting with asura hosting you get 99.9 percent .9 uptime nvme ssd storage free ssl certificates free domain registration and many more going down Asura Hosting offers multiple hosting services. You get website hosting, reseller hosting, GPS hosting, and radio hosting. For our purpose, we are going to use web hosting. So you can choose to click from view plans or you can click on web hosting right here. So I'll go to view plans. So these are the various web hosting plans with Asura Hosting. They have starter, unlimited, and unlimited plus. And you can choose between direct admin or cpanel with direct admin the price is less as compared to cpanel for instance for the starter you get 1.29 dollars per month with cpanel and you get one dollar per month with direct admin so these are the various features you get under each package with the starter you get 12 gb nvme ssd storage However, the unlimited and then the unlimited plus, you get unlimited NVMe SSD storage. The main difference in here are with the starter, you get 15 email accounts, 15 websites, and 15 databases. But with the unlimited and the unlimited plus, all these features are unlimited, as you can see right here. Down here are some of the major difference. That is, with the starter, you will not get private name servers, free goal. 10 key reseller plan, free domain yearly, and then free dedicated IP. And over here is this last tray that you will get as compared to this. And the unlimited plus, everything is made free for you. So if you are going to make a, a website like an e commerce website, I would suggest you go in for the unlimited plus. But for our purpose, we'll go in for the starter plan. Now, if you go down, you see that the initial price for the hosting per year is $12 and at renewal you also pay $12 which means there won't be any price hikes when it's time for renewal so we go up and we click on order now for the starter package so under choose a domain in here you can choose to register a new domain transfer your domain from another registrar or if you have an existing domain and want to update your name service you can choose this but for our purpose, we want to register a new domain. So we choose register a new domain 
and in here we search for the domain we want to register take note this domain you are going to register should be unique to you if it is already registered somewhere it cannot be registered for the second time so I'll search for Jiku pages web and take note over here is the domain extension there are so many of them but our advice you go in for .com especially if you are creating for a business or if you want to go international however if you want to create for an organization you can use .org so let's stick to .com then we click on search awesome jikupagesweb.com is available and we pay $9.99 for the domain registration then we go ahead and click on continue so these are the various features we will get for the starter plan so you can choose to pay for one year hosting two years or three years and you see that as the year increases you are saving 16 percent and going down as some additional services we don't need any of this so i go ahead and click on continue in here we have dns management which is free i'll select it id protection you need to pay a little for it for a year and email forwarding is also free so i'll check it i like free things then i go ahead and click on continue so now the web hosting for the starter is 12 dollars per year and the domain registration is 9.99 dollars per year which brings us to a total of $21.99 for a year so going down you can choose your currency from here I'll leave it as USD if you have a promo code you can enter it in here and then you can choose to use an existing account that is if you are already using Asura hosting and since we are new we'll create a new account and in here you need to fill all these details then you go ahead and choose your payment method so in my case i'm going to use direct credit card and in here i enter my card number the expiry date and then the cvv number so i'm going to fill out this form and also enter my payment details and click on checkout and meet you in a second all right our order is confirmed now i can click here to take me to the class area of my asura account so this is the domain we have just registered the next thing i'm going to do is to go over to my email account and check for my login details so when you buy a hosting plan from asura hosting for the first time you receive so many messages but you want to look for asura hosting dash hosting account information and in here will be your account information so going down that is to control panel you see your account detail that is your login details you can use to log in to start making your website so over here is my username password and then the server login url which i need to hide for obvious reasons so i'll just highlight the login url right click on it and open it in a new tab so this is the login page so what i'm going to do is go back to my email copy and paste the username and then the password then I click on sign in so this is the username and this is my password so I go ahead and click on sign in okay so this brings us to Asura hosting cPanel that is the direct admin cPanel so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and install WordPress so I scroll down to extra features then I click on software clause photo installer so in here I have WordPress I go ahead and click on install now under choose installation URL in here you need to make sure it is set to HTTPS that is the protocol since Asura hosting is giving us free SSL certificate and then choose domain this is the domain we've just registered then in directory you don't want to put anything in here so I take it off I'm going down this is where I can set the name of my website so currently it is set to my blog and then the site description my WordPress blog so I'll show you how to change these names inside WordPress now under admin account in here you enter the admin username the admin password as well as the admin email address 
These are the details you use to log into WordPress in order to edit your website. So I'll enter these details pretty quick. So I'll fill out the fields pretty quick. Going down to the end, I click on install and WordPress will install in a few seconds. Congratulations, the software was installed successfully. And over here is my web address, that is decopagesweb.com. If I click on it, it will take me to the front end of my website. Awesome. So this is the front end of my website. This is what users will see when they enter the URL to my website. If I go back, I can click on the administrative URL right here to take me to the back end of my WordPress website. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you how to log into your WordPress website if you are at the front end of the website. So to log in, I click at the end of the .com. Then I bring forward slash wp dash admin. Hit enter, and this will take me to the login page. So in here, I enter my username and the password. That is the username and password I've just chosen when I was installing WordPress. Enter. So I'm in the dashboard of my WordPress website. So take note, this is the back end of our website. And if I right click on the name of my website, open link in the new tab to take me to the front end of the website. So I go back to the back end and I'm going to clean up my WordPress website. So all these widgets, I don't need them. So I click on screen options and I'll uncheck all this. Now click back on it. Next, I go over to post. Take note when you install WordPress. You'll be given a default hello world post. I don't need it. I trash it. And I click on trash. Empty trash. Next, I go over to pages. I don't need these two pages. So I select all. Click on bulk actions. Move to trash. Apply. Click on trash. Empty the trash. Next, I go over to teams. Take note, a team is basically the design and layout of your website so if I go to the front end currently you see a green background and a black text so this is my team and that's the design and layout of my website going back I don't need all these teams and currently this is the active team that is what we are seeing here and I can activate any of these teams if I want so I will just go ahead and click on activate if I want to activate this team and it will now be my default team if I go to the front end of my website and refresh it, you will now see the new look and feel of my website. Going back, like I said earlier, I don't need all these teams, so I just click on Team Details, Delete, OK. Team Details, Delete, OK. And unfortunately, I cannot delete this team because we should have an existing team. So next I go to plugins, I don't need all these plugins, so I select all bulk actions, lead, apply, ok. So that's it about cleaning up, the next thing I'm going to do is to set up my website. So first of all I go over to settings and I click on general, and the general settings, this way you can change the name of your website and the tagline as well, remember I said I will show you how to change the name of our website and the tagline during the installation so this way you can change them so i remove my blog and i enter Jikukas. the tagline best platform for cars awesome and in here is my wordpress address and then the site address Next is the administrative email. I can change this if I want, but I want to keep this for now. And the membership, I will select anyone can register so that users of my website will be able to register on my website. Going down, I click on save changes. Next, I go over to permalinks. And under common settings, I want to change it from day and name to post name so that my post will assume this particular format instead of me having the year 
month and day as part of my URL. So I choose post name and I click on save changes. The next thing I'm going to do is install some plugins. Take note, a plugin is just a software that will extend the functionality of your WordPress website. So to install a plugin, I'll go over to plugins and I click on add new. I'll exit out of here and here for now. Under search plugins, I search for Hive Press. And this is the plugin I'm going to install. Hive Press, that is multi-purpose directory listing and classified WordPress plugin. So with this particular plugin, you can create any kind of directory listing or classified website using WordPress. And the plugin is being designed by Hive Press. So apart from this particular plugin, they also have additional add-ons you can use as part of your website. I will be using some of them and not all. So first of all, I'll go ahead and install HivePress. So I also need HivePress geolocation so that I will allow my users to search listing by location. And with this, you will need to create a Google API key for your website. And I have a link in the description down below that will show you how to create a Google Maps API key. I install it and I also install HivePress messages so that users of my website will be able to send messages. HivePress favorites, I'll install that one too so that people will mark listings as their favorites. Next is HivePress authentication. If you want to allow your users to sign into your website using third party plugins, you can enable this so that users will be able to log in using either Facebook or Google. But I don't want to use this. I'll install Hive Press reviews so that people can send reviews on my website. And finally, I'll install Hive Press paid listings so that with this, I'll be able to sell some spaces on my website when people want to list their cars. So with this, I'll be able to charge fees for people selling on my website. I'm not going to install Hive Press claim listing, but you can go ahead and install them. So that if people want to claim a particular listing, you can charge them for doing that. So these are all the plugins I want to install with regards to high press. So you see that I've not activated any of them. I can just go ahead to install plugins and activate them at once. So these are all the plugins I've installed. So I select them at once and I go to bulk actions, activate and then apply. Now, after installing the HivePress plugin, you see this particular message. The current team doesn't declare HivePress support. If you notice any styling issues, please consider using one of the official teams instead. So to be able to use those teams, I'll just click on official teams. And these are the various teams that comes with HivePress. As you can see, this particular one is a premium one. Before you can use it, you need to pay $79 to purchase this and this as well but for our purpose we are going to use this free one that is listing hive so i'll just go ahead and install it it is installed i go ahead and activate so now our listing hive team has been installed now let's take a look at the new look and feel of our website so this is the new look and feel of my website still boring but we'll make it beautiful as we go along i go back so i don't need this team anymore so i click on team details delete and okay so after installing hive press at the left hand side menu you see hive press listings and then vendors so these are the three features we will need in order to create our listings and also manage them so apart from the hive press plugins we also need some additional plugins to be able to get a fully functional website so I'll go ahead and add those plugins. So I go to plugins, then I click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for WooCommerce. WooCommerce is the plugin that I'm going to use to sell my packages to people who will listing their cars on my website and they also need extra features. So I go ahead and click on install. It is installed. I will activate it now. I'll install other plugins. Next is Elementor. Elementor is a page builder that we use to design the pages of our website. I have Elementor in here. I click on install. 
And I also need this particular plugin, Essential Add-ons for Elementor. This particular plugin would add extra features to our Elementor page builder. I install that one. Then finally, I'll go ahead and install Elementor header and footer builder. This will also give me some additional functionalities with regards to using Elementor. I install it. So all the plugins are installed. Let me go to install plugins and activate them at once. So I have them in here. Elementor, Elementor header and footer builder, essential add-ons for Elementor and finally WooCommerce. Bulk actions, activate, apply. Okay, so all the plugins are activated. You see WooCommerce right here. Elementor and then essential add-ons for Elementor. Perfect. Now the next thing I'm going to do is set up HivePress. So I go over to HivePress and I click on settings. So under settings, in here, you need to set your listing page. So at the moment, I've not created any listing page. So I'll come back here and choose my listing page when I finally create it. Next is listing page display. In here, if you want to display the categories you'll be creating on your website, on the listing page, you will go ahead and check this, but I don't want to do that. Next is regular listing per page. So how many listings do you want to see per page? So you can choose whatever number you want. Then if you have featured listings, how many of them do you want to see in a page? Maybe I'll say four. Next is related listings per page. So you can set whatever number you want. Next is title, which is optional. With this, you can set whatever title you want so that, for instance, if you have your listings, it will be the URL of your website slash listing slash whatever name of your car. But I don't want to set it because defaultly you get listing as part of the URL. So I don't need to set anything in here. And images, I want to enable image zoom. Next is search and the default field, I have keywords. So you can search by keywords and you can also search by categories. So I click in here and you show all the fields I have. So I just go ahead and click on categories. Next is submission. So before you say submit their listing on my website, they will need to read through my terms and conditions, which I don't have yet. So I'll create the page later and come back here to add them. So next is submission. So I'll allow submitting new listings so that user will be able to submit their listings. Moderation, I will have to approve every single listing manually. And then reporting, allow reporting listings. So that if buyers come to my website and they realize that there's a particular listing which is violating the rules of the website, they can go ahead and report it. So I'll leave all these checkboxes checked. And next is expiration period. So in here, you need to set the number of days after which a particular listing will expire. So I'll say 30 days. That is going to be the default one. Then storage period. So after the listing is expired, how long should it take before it is deleted from the website? I can say 30 days or maybe 45 days. And then next is featuring. So remember I've talked about featured listing right here. So before people can feature their listing, they will need to pay for that particular feature. So in here, I need to choose a particular product that people should buy in order to feature their listings. Next, I'll go to geolocation. In here, you need to select the country from which you want to accept listings from. So I'm targeting only one country, which is Ghana. So I'll go ahead and enter Ghana in here. That is my country. So that's all the settings I want to do in here. I'll go ahead and click on Save Changes. Next, I go over to Reviews and I'm going to allow submitting multiple reviews. I click on Save Changes. Next, I go over to Vendors. Click on Vendors are the people who will be creating their listings on my website. So I want to display Vendors on the front end of my website. And the Vendors page, I don't have that page yet. So when I finally create it, I'll come here and add it. So how many Vendors do I want to see per page? I'll leave it as 10 for now. Then display name, I'll only display the username. And then under search, you can only search vendors by keywords. And under registration, you may want to allow redirect registration. 
if I click on save changes, take note, we'll still come back to these settings to enter the various pages. Next, I'll go to users, name display. So in here, you can choose to display username, first name, last name, or full name, whichever one you want. So I'll choose full name or better still, I'll choose first name. And then registration, in here, you select the registration terms page, which I don't have yet. And then registration, I want to allow user to register. The username, generate username from the email address. I don't want to do this. I want to give my user the opportunity to choose their own usernames. And finally, I'll go ahead and click on require email verification so that people will not come and spam my website with unnecessary emails. So before you become a seller on my website, you should have a working email address. Next, I go to messages. So in here, you can decide to allow users to attach files when they are going to send messages. But for me, I don't want to encourage this. So meaning I'm not doing anything here. You can also decide to store the messages in the database. So if you uncheck this, the messages people will be sending to each other will be sent to their respective emails. But I don't want that. I want them to read the messages on my website. So everything is set. I go ahead and click on save changes. Finally, integrations. If you want to protect your forms with recapture, you can go ahead and do that. And with that, you need to get some API keys. The only API key I want to use is Google Maps API key, which I already have. You can also go ahead and create your own Google Map API key if you want. I have a link in the description down below that will show you how to create your own Google Map API key. You can go and check it up and create your own Google Map API key. So I have my Google Map API key copied to my clipboard. I'll just go ahead and paste it in here. I click on save changes. So the next thing I'm going to do is create my pages so that I'll come back and add them to their respective places. So to create a page, I'll go over to pages and I click on add new. So in here at the left hand side, I don't have the menu pane where I can easily navigate. So to bring it, I'll go to this three dot right here. That is options. Click on it. Then I uncheck full screen mode so that I'll have my menu pane right here. So I click on add title. The first page I'm going to create is home. Then I click on publish publish again page is published next I go over to pages then I click on add new next I'll create my listings page publish publish again add new the next page I'm going to create is for the various car dealers who will be coming to my website to sell their cars so I can call them agents agencies vendors or whatever you want to call them or maybe i'll call them dealers that is car dealers then i click on publish publish again next i create a blog page publish publish add new about us publish add new contact us publish add new so i'm creating all the important pages once and for all so that i wouldn't have to come back to pages so i have terms of service publish publish again maybe i can add privacy policy page publish and publish so these are the various pages i want to have for now so let me go back to hard press settings so that i'll add all the necessary pages so the listing page i'll go ahead and choose listings i scroll down okay in here i have submission terms page so i'll look for terms of service that's it for now i click on save changes reviews i don't think i have a page in here vendors so vendors page i'll choose my dealers page so you choose whatever 
name you have given to your vendors page in here so in your case it can be agents agencies or even vendors save the changes users registration terms page i search for terms of service and i click on save changes messages i don't think i have any page to select from here and that's it for now perfect so the next thing i'm going to do is go over to listings and click on it so in here at the moment i don't have any listings so if i create some listing this way they will all display as well as the listings other users of my websites will be creating and if i want to add a listing i'll just go ahead and click on add new from here or here but before i do that i want to create categories packages and attributes for my listings so the first thing i would create is categories so the categories you are going to create here will depend upon the kind of directory or listing website you are making for instance if you are going to make a real estate property listing website your categories can be houses apartments warehouses plots of lands in that order and if you want to create a listing website for automobiles your categories can be cars motorbikes trucks bicycles and what have you and if you also want to narrow down the listing website you want to create like in my case i want to create a listing website for only cars so my categories can be the type of cars i want to list on my website that is saloon cars sports cars suvs hatchbacks convertible and more so i'll just go ahead and add my categories so the first one i have is saloon cars i scroll down you can give it a description and i think that is what i will do buy sell or rent saloon cars in your area that is a short description and i'll go ahead and select an image for my saloon category i click on select image upload files select files categories i choose saloon open select image awesome now go ahead and click on add category so my category is added i'll add the next category i have sports cars going down select image upload files select files now choose my sports car and i click on select image now go ahead and click on add category just added so i'll add the rest of the categories and meet you in a second all right i've added all my categories so i have convertible hardback saloon sports and suvs awesome next thing i'm going to do is create my packages that is the packages users will buy in order to get premium listings but before i click on add new or i add new category i'll need to use woocommerce in order to create my packages because that is the plugin i'm going to use to sell my packages when you scroll down to settings i have woocommerce product and in here is empty so i need to create those various packages in woocommerce then i'll come and add them here in order to charge or bill my customers or my dealers so i'll go back to products then i click on add new so in here i enter the name of my first package so i'll call it business and i'm not going to give any description and the product data i'll leave it as simple product and i'll select virtual because i'm not going to ship any physical product to my clients then the price that is regular price i enter 59.99 it's actually going to be in ghana cities so i'll show you how you can change the currency sign for your prices i go ahead and click on publish so business package is created i'll click on add new create another package this one i'll call it ultimate it's going to be a virtual product and the price i will make it 99.99 then i go ahead and click on publish i click on add new again and this particular product or package i'm going to create is going to be for those who are not going to buy any of the two packages i created earlier but they still want to get their product featured on the website that is after they add their listing on the website 
they can go ahead and purchase this particular feature i'm about to create now so that they'll be able to feature their products on the top pages of the listings so i'll call it featured listing then i select virtual and the price is going to be only 10 ghana cities and i go ahead and publish it so take note this particular featured listing package there's a place we are going to take it to under high price settings i'll show you how to do that later or better still let me just take you there settings so i'll go down to featuring woocommerce products and i'll select featured listing and then featuring period i'll enter 30 days so if people buy this particular package they will be able to feature their listing for 30 days perfect and i scroll down and click on save changes so now that i've created the products for my packages i'll go back to listings and i click on packages so that i'll create my packages so i click on add new to create my first package so the first package is going to be light or i'll make it capital letters and it's also going to be free So on the description, I enter the description for the free package. So with the free package, users will be able to get 10 listings. Maybe I'll switch it to visual instead of text. Then I'll center it. And with these 10 listings, it will have 30 days expiry. And then they won't get any feature listing. So I'll put dash for them. I'll highlight all and center it perfect and going down take note it's not going to attract any of these packages because it's a free package and the limits that is the listing limit is 10 that is what we have stated here and the expiry date will be 30 so under categories if you want this particular package to be applicable to any of these categories you go ahead and select those ones but I wouldn't advise you to do that because users of your website should be able to list on all these categories for free. So I'll go ahead and publish it. It is published. I click on add new to add the second package. I enter business. And with the business, users will get 30 listings with 60 days expiry. And then they will also get free feature listing going down under woocommerce products i choose business and the listing limit is 30 listing expiration 60 and i'll make listings featured so because i've stated that they will get free feature listing so i click on make listings featured and i'm also going to make this particular package the recommended one so that it will show more for people apart from the other two packages i will have I publish it so let me just copy this so that i will use them again copy and i think i need to center them so i update so i click on add new to add the final package which is ultimate and i just go ahead and paste what i've copied so with the ultimate you will get 90 listings and then the expiry date will be 60 days and then free featured listings so i go ahead and center them then woocommerce product i choose ultimate then listing limit 90 expiration 60 and then i'll go ahead and make listings featured and i'm not going to recommend this package i click on publish okay so all my packages are created if you click on package you'll be able to see all of them awesome next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and create attributes attribute has to do with all the features a car will have so if you are going to sell or buy a car you should be thinking about the price of the car the brand the model the transmission the fuel type engine capacity year of manufacture mileage and even condition a minimum we won't be able to cover all the attributes in this tutorial but i will just give you the heads up as to what attributes you need to create if you are making a car listing website so now if i go to the front end of my website to add a listing let's see how it will come up so 
So first of all, I need to select a category from this categories. So let me select saloon car. I want to sell a saloon car and I have the opportunity to select images for my car. So in here, the first I have title, location, then description. So take note, I'm seeing location as a result of the Google API key I use on my website. So you may not be able to see location if you don't have the Google Map API key embedded on your website. Even if you are able to get the location field, you wouldn't be able to search using the Google Maps. So if, for instance, if I want to type Tamale, you see that Tamale will appear and I can choose whichever part of Tamale my car is located. Perfect. So I have title, location and description. And you see that I don't have any attributes. I won't be able to select the price, brand, model, and what have you. So after creating them, we will now be able to see them in here as part of the form. Awesome. So the first attribute I'm going to create is price. So I click on add new. So in here, I enter price. Now I'm going to make the price editable at the front end. So I select this. And I don't need to moderate this as soon as users enter their prices, it should be there as they have entered. And the field type is going to be number. So I select number. Under search, I want it to be part of the filterable that is displayed in search form. And also, it should be included in the keyword search. And sortable, you can also choose this, but I don't want it to be part of the display a sorting option so i'll leave it unchecked and i think all my attributes i don't need this sortable next field is field type so with price i want to make it number range so that people can search from the lowest price to the highest price perfect next is display so which areas do i want to display the price so i click in here i have block primary block secondary page primary and page secondary block primary is a location on the listing page which will display under a particular listing i'll click again and i'll choose page primary so that on the main listing page that is the main item page the price will be displayed over there i'll show you where you will see this particular feature when we finally create our first listing next is icon you can use an icon for your label so if you want to search for price, maybe, I don't know what we'll get when searching for price. Maybe, let me see, can I get CD sign? No, it's not there. Ghana, no, maybe dollars. Okay, I have dollar sign. So if you want to use this as your label, you can use that. So when you choose an icon, you need to make sure you display that particular icon under the format take note the value you are seeing here is the amounts your users will be entering into the price field and to be able to display this dollar sign as the label you need to come in here that is before the value then type in percentage sign then you bring icon and then percentage sign again then provide space so this dollar sign is the icon and then the amount people will be entering into the sprite field is their value. So next, I go to categories. The field I'm creating, that is price. Is it applicable to all these categories? If the answer is yes, then you don't need to select anything. But if price is applicable to some particular categories, then you need to select those categories. But price is applicable to all these categories, so I don't need to select anything here. Then I go ahead and click on publish. Now if I go to the front end and refresh this page, I should be able to see price as part of the form. But take note, at the moment it is set to optional, meaning people will decide either they want to enter price or not. But I don't want it to be optional. So I go back and after saving the attribute and the editing, you now see that required is part of the editing options now. So I go ahead and make it as a required field. Then I click on update. So if I come back here and refresh, optional will go off and we now see only price. Perfect. Going back, I'll click on add new to add the next attribute. And the next attribute I'm going to create is brand. 
and I'll make it editable the field type is going to be text so it's just going to be text field where I'll enter my brand or you can also I can also decide to make it select so that users will be able to select from a list so on the search I select filterable and indexable field type so it's going to be select in the display I choose block primary and then page primary then icon maybe I'll search for car or something I think I have car in here then format percentage sign icon percentage sign space then I'll go ahead and publish it so it is published and I'll make it as required so after publishing it you now have description field and then placeholder field so you can decide to fill up these fields I'll leave them empty as so after publishing you get the description field for the field type and also placeholder you can fill them up if you want also have multiple if you select this checkbox you are giving your users the opportunity to select multiple brands but I don't want to do that and in here I've given the option to edit my options take note I've selected select meaning users of my website will have to select from some options now if I go to the front end now and refresh the page I won't be able to choose anything under brand because there's nothing in here so this way we can set them but before I do that let me go ahead and click on update to save the required app selected and then I'll go ahead and click on edit options and it will take me to where I'll create my options so the first brand I want to enter is Benz I go down and click on add option the next I have Toyota add option Nissan add option so I'll go ahead and add as many options as I can and get back to you okay I've added some few and I'll go back to packages sorry attributes and not packages then I click on edit under brand take note you will not see them in here so next thing we are going to look at is search if you want to display them under the search form you can do that so I think that's all the settings we need to do in here then I click on update so now if I go to the front end and refresh the page I'll be able to choose something under brand you see that perfect so going back I'll go ahead and add the rest of the attributes and meet you in a second okay I've added some attributes I have condition full type transmission brand and price so with condition I use radio buttons it's just the same procedure as the brand and full type I use check boxes which is also the same procedure however with full type users will be able to select more than one particular full type so in a situation where a particular car is using both petrol and gas they can go ahead and select that take note you can have more than these attributes we are having here so I have price, brand, transmission, fuel type, and condition. So you can have mileage, year of manufacture, engine capacity, model, and many more. But for the sake of these tutorials, I just want to keep it for this particular five attributes for now. So now that we have our attributes created, let's go ahead and create some listing. So I'll go ahead and refresh this page. Or better still, I'll just go to add listing so that I start afresh and I'm going to add a salon car so I click on salon and in here I go ahead and select my image or images so I click on select images and I go to a location where I have my salon cars so I go to cars salon and I'll select this and hold down the control key and select the rest of the images I want to upload so all these four images is for one particular salon car so I click on open so as it is loading, let me add my title. So 
so i'm just coming up with this title i'm not sure if this is toyota camry and then the location i enter tamale so i just go ahead and choose which part of tamale the car is situated i'll just choose tamale ghana and the price is twenty thousand. and then the brand is toyota so i go down and choose toyota then the transmission it is automatic and then the fuel type it is petrol condition is new so in here i add my description so i'll just go ahead and enter some dummy content I'll go to google and search for dummy content dummy text and i'll choose this now just go ahead and copy this and paste in here now agree to the terms if i want to change the category i can click here but i don't want to change i go ahead and click on submit so i'll be redirected to this page to select my package so i can decide to buy this business package which is recommended so take note remember i marked this particular package as recommended that's why you are seeing this mark here or i can decide to buy the ultimate so that i'll be able to add 90 listings and it will expire within 60 days and i also get free featured listing but for now i'm going to select free package so listing submitted thank you your listing toyota camry 2020 has been submitted and will be reviewed as soon as possible so now if i go to the listings page i'm not going to see this until the administrator of the website approve my listing perfect so this is how my search form will come up and i have keyword location all categories and in here is the brand and i think i need some placeholder here to show the brand or to show you said that they can actually click here to go to brands so what i can do is i go back to attributes and i click to edit brands i go down to search then placeholder i enter brand or maybe brands whichever way i'll go ahead and update it so if i refresh this page i should be able to see brand here perfect so my listing is not appearing here so i'll need to go and moderate it so i go back to the back end and i go over to all listings so i have it in here which is pending so all what I need to do is click on quick edit and under status, I change it from pending review to published and I go ahead and update. Now I go back to the front end and I refresh it and boom, we are right there. Perfect. Wow, this looks clumsy. So take note, this is the primary block I was talking about. So this way, all my primary blocks will be shown on the listing page on a particular listing so if i open it up and this is the secondary block so in here i have my title first the category title location and the day the listing was added and i can also add this to favorites and these are the various images i've added for this particular listing also and i have my google map in here the visitors of my website can come in here to reply to this particular listing by clicking on it and they can send a message awesome maybe i don't want to display all this here i only want to display price so i'll take all this off and i'll rather bring them in here and if i go to the listing page i don't want to display all this here that is the block section of the particular listing so i go back to attributes so whilst i'm changing them i'll be checking them here to see how they will come up and i would rather want to display some of them up here instead of down here below so going back so let me check i want the price to be on this block but the rest of them should all be up right here i'll go back so first of all i edit price so i right click open link in a new tab or i can hold down control key on the keyboard and just click on the ones i want to edit perfect so first of all price so take note 
the price is being displayed on the block primary and also page primary so if i go back to the listing page i'll open this in a new tab so the price is displayed here that is the block primary sorry that is the page primary so page secondary the price would rather be here take notes so you see petrol in here because it's under page secondary so i need price to be here that is block primary and i also need it to be here that is page primary so i don't need to do anything with price so i close it up next is brand so i selected block primary and page primary for brands which i don't need so first of all i will remove block primary and page primary now let me go ahead and publish it now if i go back to the listing page and refresh the brand will vanish from the listing page you see that it's no more showing here and the same goes for the particular product listing page awesome you see that brand is off so what i can do is i go down display area so the brand should come under block secondary as well as page secondary and i go ahead and update it so now if i refresh this page now under listing we will now see brand on this particular section so refresh awesome you see that and if i go to the respective page for the car and refresh i will now see model sorry brand as part of the main page right here perfect so i'll take off automatic and new from this location and bring them to this location and in here i'll take automatic and new from here and put them here perfect so i'm done with brand transmission i go down block primary and page primary remove them and i choose block secondary and then page secondary updates i'll do the same thing for full type block secondary page secondary updates and finally condition i'll remove this and enter block secondary and primary secondary update so now if i refresh this you see all the features on top right here perfect leaving the price down here below and here if i refresh all this will go a set price awesome and you see them down here below perfect so that's it on how you can add listing on your website so now how can other users add listing on my website let's see how that works so i'll open this in a new private window i'll just copy any page and paste it on the new private window hit enter I'm just going to get to the website quickly so assuming other users land on my website and they want to add their own listing how can they do that all what they need to do is go ahead and click on add listing and let's see what happens they will redirect it to sign in before they can actually go ahead and add their listing but they don't have an account yet so all what they need to do is go ahead and register so they choose username so i enter my username and then email I'll go ahead and enter password now click on agree terms and click on register okay I have six characters register so registration is done I need to check my email to activate my account so I have registration complete right here Oh, hi Dana, thank you for registering. Yes, your password. So I have my password in here. So I just wanted to show you. That's why I intentionally kept this simple password. Then I go back and the confirmation email is right here. So what I need to do is I'll just copy this. Copy link. And I'll go to the incognito window to 
paste it in there to confirm so if i try to confirm it will take me to the categories page so that i'll just go ahead and add my listing so if, as you can see here i now have my account instead of sign in so i'm going to add convertible as a client select image so i have my convertible here select this open and then the title let's enter brands convertible 2012 and the location is commercy so i just go ahead and select this and the price is thirty thousand. The brand is benz transmission manual fuel type diesel condition it is used and i'll enter my description in here go ahead and agree to the terms so let me just get some dummy contents i go ahead and paste in my dummy content then i click on create listing oops i've missed some points in location Mercy. submit and in here the user need to select a package and i'll select the free package because i like free things and the listing is submitted so if i go to the listing page i won't be able to see my listing until it is approved by the administrator of the website meanwhile i can go to my account and i'll see my listing in there which is pending now if i go to packages you see that i'll be left with nine packages or nine listing rather sorry because i've already used one and settings in here i can enter then my first name and then my last name if i have some profile info i can enter that and in here i can go ahead and change my password if i want to do so i can also select a profile image so i'll do that pretty quick and i go ahead and click on save changes changes have been saved perfect i can sign up from here if i want and that is what i'll do i'll just exit from here i don't need this so as an administrator i'll go to the back end of my website and i'll go over to listings and i'll go ahead and approve this listing so i click on quick edit and the status i change it to published and then i click on update so in my opinion there should be an approved text somewhere here that can be easily clicked on to approve the listing instead of going to quick edit to publish it so now if i go to the listings page and refresh I will now see two listings instead of one and boom we are right there so now if i try to search using location maybe i enter tamale i select it and then search i should be able to see only one listing which is coming from tamale awesome now if i remove the location and i go to hack bags and click on search I won't be able to see anything because I don't have any hardbacks on my website. You see that. But if I go in for convertible and search, I should be able to see one listing, which is a convertible car. Perfect. So now that you've gotten the idea of how to add listing, I'll go ahead and add some more listings to my website and get back to you. All right, I've added some listings as you can see in here and if we go to the front end these are the various listings i've added awesome so now that we have added some listings the next thing i'm going to do is how to create dealers or how to create vendors at the back end of the website so to do that i go to the back end and i scroll to vendors add new so in here i enter the title of the vendor that is the name and take note a vendor can be an individual or a company either way how to create a vendor is the same so i'm creating for a company trust car dealers 
and in here you can enter the description about the company and the author is Sadiq and you can go ahead and mark the vendor as verified if you want then in here you can set the featured image for the vendor so I just go ahead and do that I use any of these images but you can go ahead and upload a file or some then I go ahead and click on publish so this is how a vendor is added we can go ahead and view the post so we've just added a vendor and also made the vendor a verified vendor however they don't have any listings yet so that's how a vendor can be added at the back end of the website the next thing i'm going to do is to create blog post take note creating blog posts on your website will help you drive traffic to your website so to make a post i go ahead to new then i click on post so in here i give my post a title how to sell your car fast that is the title in the body of the message i just go ahead and paste in a dummy content or maybe i break this paragraph down so that i will have short paragraphs let's say i want to add an image to the body of my post i hit enter then i click on this plus icon right here that is add block then i search for image so i have image in here I just click on it then I go ahead and upload a file or I can choose from the media library so I click on media library and I choose this image and select you can reduce the size of the image if you want like this I'll create a new paragraph by clicking on the plus icon then click on paragraph then I go ahead and continue with my text now let me show you how to make a drop cap for your blog post so i just click in here on the paragraph where i need the drop cap then i click on drop cap under block settings right here awesome so if i'm happy with my blog post i'll go to post and i scroll down categories i can give my post categories so if you don't specify a particular category for your post it will go under uncategorized so i click on add new category in here I enter cars then add new category you can also add tags if you want so the tag can be cars comma car comma then I go down click on featured image then set featured image then I'll choose this and click on set featured image then I go ahead and click on publish publish again I can view the post awesome so this is how our post will come up very neat and clean perfect however if I go to the blog page you wouldn't see any blog post coming up the reason is that we have not set this particular page as the blog page of our website I'll show you how to do that in a moment but before I continue I want to add some additional three blog posts to my website so I'll do this pretty quick and meet you in a second all right I've added some blog posts to my website so the next thing I'm going to do is to create menus for my website if you go to the front end start the menu looks messy so let me show you how we can create a menu for our website so I go to the back end when I go down to appearance then I click on menus so in here I'm going to name my menu as main menu you can give it whatever name you want and I click on create menu and the pages I go to view all and I'll select home dealers that is the vendors listings contacts maybe about us I'll add my account as well and I click on add to menu okay I will remove this particular menu and put this one that is for home I don't want to use this custom link so I drag this on top and I go ahead and take this off okay and I drag listings on top 
followed by dealers then about us contact us my account perfect now i want to add some of my categories and the listings but i won't be able to see it here these categories is for the blog post so to see those categories i go over to screen options then i click on categories right here then it will show down here so if i click on it i see the various categories so i just go ahead and select all from here then i click on add to me so i'll drag them and drop them under listing like this so that it will be a drop down menu so you can arrange them the way you want in final sports perfect so i'm happy about my menu then i go ahead and add it to header if you don't choose header here your menu will not be able to display here okay so i select header then i go ahead and click on save menu it is saved now i go to the front end and refresh my page let's see how our menu will come up perfect so if i hover on listings i see the various categories and i can go to each one of them also i think i don't need this my account here this is for woocommerce and this is for the high press so i go back to the back end and i take this out remove and i click on save let's refresh it the next thing i'm going to do is to create footer menus so i go back to the back end then i go ahead and click on create a new menu so in here i can call it company then i click on create menu let me go to view all so i have about us blog contact then i'll add privacy policy and then terms of service then i go ahead and click on add to menu i think privacy policy is not added right here perfect i think the arrangement is cool then i go ahead and click on save menu i'll add another menu so i click on create new menu this one i'll call it social then i click on create menu so over here i don't have any pages with regards to social so i'm going to use custom links so i click on custom links and the url i enter the url of the particular social media i'm going to create for but at the moment i just want to put hashtag so that i'll move fast with the tutorial so i'll enter facebook add to menu instagram add to menu so i'll do the rest pretty quick and get back to you all right now all my menus are created the next thing i'm going to do is to design the home page of my website so i go to pages and in here i have my home page so i go to view right click on it open it in a new tab so this is the page I created to represent my home page but it's not my home page yet because if I click on the name of my website to take me to the home page of the website which will display my recent blog post but I don't want that so what I'm going to do is this particular page I want to make it my default home page so to do that I go to settings then I go ahead and click on reading under your home page displays I choose a static page instead of your latest post then under home page I drop down the arrow then I select home and I can also go ahead and choose a page for my blog post so I click here and I choose blog so all my blog posts will now appear on this page remember when we finished creating our blog posts we couldn't find them under the blog page so when these two things are done scroll down click on save changes now if i go to pages you see that home is now the front page of my website if i right click on view open link in a new tab you see that it's now our home page and the header that you are seeing here that is home is now gone so now let's start design our home page and we are going to design it using elementor so i go ahead and click on edit page 
in here i click on edit with elementor so my page is open with elementor and at the left hand side are the widgets we we'll use to build our page and we are not going to use all of this we'll use a particular widget as and when we need it so quickly i'm just going to start designing my home page i have so many videos on the channel that will show you how to use elementor to build your pages so i'll just go quickly with this particular tutorial before i do that i go to settings and i'll change my page layout to elementor full width now i've made my page a full width that doesn't mean that it will give me the full width i actually want because this particular team is not giving us that opportunity i'll show you what i mean when i start designing the page so first of all i'll get a hero section so i click on the plus icon right here then i choose single column you see that this particular column is not stretched to the width of the page even if i go to content width and choose full width it's still the same but don't worry i'll show you how we can fix this in a moment i've inserted my first section i'll go to height drop down the arrow and choose minimum height and defaultly it will give me 400 as the minimum height of pixels i'll change it to 500 and i'm going to give it a background image so i'll go to style and the background i choose classic and click in here to choose my image i go to upload files select files i go to where i can find my image in here i have hero i select it then click on open it is uploaded i click on insert media and it is right there perfect next i'm going to set the position to center center and the attachments i'm going to make it fixed so that when i'm scrolling the image will be static awesome repeat i set it to no repeat and then size i make it cover and i'm going to give it a background overlay so under background overlay i choose classic and i click on color then i choose black now i'm going to add some text in here so i click on this nine dots icon here to go to elements and i drag in the heading element in here i change the text i'll center it and i go to style change the color to white and the typography I increase the size I make it 100 awesome next I go to elements again and I search for fancy fancy text this particular widget is from the essential add-on for Elementor that is why you are seeing EA right here so I grab it and drop it under the first heading so I have my fancy text in here but we can't see it for now so to be able to see it first of all I'll go to style then pre text I change the color to white and then fancy text styles I change the color and the solid color to white as well and then suffix text styles I click on it and I change the color to white perfect so that everything will appear then i go back to content and under suffix text i don't need what is in here so i select everything and remove it so i only use prefix text and then the fancy text strings so the perfect text i'll enter a car in then under fancy text strings i click on the first one and this is the text i'm going to change so i take it off and i enter saloon maybe in capital letters then the second string i remove it and enter suv maybe small s to make it suvs and then the third one sports and i can go ahead and duplicate to get more so i click on this to change it to 
hard box duplicate again and click on it now change it to convertible also so i have one two three four five perfect so these are the various categories i have on my website so i can go to fancy text settings and under style i only have the opportunity to use style one style two is in the pro version of essential add-ons for elementor alignment currently it is set to center i can choose left right or center i'll leave it as center and the animation it is set to typing i can choose fade awesome or maybe zoom but i will leave it as typing in the typing speed and delay in change you can change them from here but i will leave them as it is so now let's go to style so i'll change the typography and the pretextiles. styles i'll change the size to 30 or maybe 35 and the weight i'll make it 700 and that's it for pretextiles. fancy text i do the same typography i'll increase the size to 35 and the weight to 700 and then the typing cursor color i change it to white so that we'll see it clearly awesome now i'll leave the rest as they are so next i go back to elements and i drag in the button element i center it then text i change it to go to listings and then the link i will enter listing oops to pop up the listing page i click on it to insert the link and then the size of the button I make it medium then I go to style to change the color so background color you can choose whatever color I want awesome but I'm going to enter this particular color perfect and that's all about my hero section I click on update let's preview the changes so you see that my hero section is not straight to the left side and the right side of my page and this is not how i want it so i'll show you how we can fix that in a moment so to do that i'll click on customize then i'll go to additional css and paste in this css code you see that it is straight now and the space on top there is vanished i'll leave a link in the description down below that will take you to where you get the css code on my website so i publish this and i go ahead and close from here awesome very neat so i go back to elementor and refresh the page next i insert a new section that insert a single column i go to elements then i scroll to the far end i can grab this i'm looking for listing search form right here that is under high press so i drag it and drop it in here and i don't like the position of the search form so what i need to do is click in here then i go to advanced then under margin at top i'll make it 30 but it's not going to be positive it's going to be negative 30 so that it will go up so i'll move it up further so that the background image the bottom of the background image will be in the middle of the search bar so i'll go ahead and move it okay i think 47 is cool the next thing i'm going to do is display the various categories of my cars so i click on insert single column then I go to elements, scroll down to the far end, and in here I have listing categories. So I click on it and drag it in here. And at the moment it will show only three categories 
so columns i'll make it four and the number of categories i make it four as well perfect meanwhile i don't have four categories i have five so i'll go to order and i can arrange them by name you see that or i can arrange them by count so that a particular category with the highest count will be at the beginning so i'll choose this and you see the rearrangement perfect and now i don't like the position of the category so i click on edit section right here go to advanced and the margin i unlink the values then i enter 50 oops not 550 perfect or better still i'll make it 80 and i think 80 is cool next i'm going to insert a heading for the categories so i go to elements and i drag in the heading element i'll center it and in here i enter featured categories i'll go to style change the color to black and under typography i increase the size to 40 and i'll change the transformation so under transformation i change it to uppercase and then letter spacing i give it a spacing of one or maybe 1.2 or so i update so i'll go back to edit section and provide more space so under pardon top i'll add 50 bottom i'll add 50 perfect or maybe top i make it 25 because i already created some space this is cool so next i'm going to insert a new section for featured cars so i can just go ahead and duplicate this section by right clicking on the six dots right here click on duplicate as you can see there's much space in here because of the margin we created on top here so i'll click on edit section right here and i'll go to advanced and i'll remove the margin so i'll change this to featured cars and i'll remove this i'll just right click on it and delete it then i go back to elements i scroll down to the end to a high press then i'll grab listings and drop it under featured cars but i don't like it in three columns so i'll choose four in the number of cars to display i'll enter eight awesome meanwhile i'll change the background color for the entire section so i click in here then i go to style and the background type i click on classic then i click on color and i'll make it gray something like this f6 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 perfect and then advanced i change this to 50 that is 25 next i'll insert another section and display some of my recent blog posts in there so what i'll do is i'll just copy this section so i right click on it copy come down right click in here paste so instead of duplicating you can also copy a section so i'll select the section then i go to advanced i'll remove the 80 margin and then pardon i change top to 50 so in here i enter recent block post then i'll go ahead and remove this delete then i'll go to elements i search for post and i'll grab the one with essential add-ons that is post grid and drop it in here now the sizes of my images are not cool so maybe i'll have to change some other images which are of the same size so in here post per page i'll make it three 
then I go to layout settings columns I change it to three and layout itself I change it to green instead of masonry so that everything will stretch across perfect maybe I don't need this meta information so going down show meta I toggle it off so I'm happy about everything so I go ahead and click on update now let's check our page in, in responsive mode so I click on responsive mode here and I click on phone starting from top so maybe the heading I can change it by clicking on it go to style typography the size I'll decrease it maybe in two lines like this then this one is okay the button two is cool search perfect awesome everything else is cool so I only needed to change this heading right here perfect next I go to tablet perfect awesome so everything else is perfect so i click on update and i exit from here i'll preview the page okay so in here my text looks clumsy maybe i needed to make it in three columns so i'll go back to elementor I click on the pencil icon columns I make it three and then the number I'll change it to six perfect I think this is cool so that will be in line with the recent blog post update let's see our changes now this is cool perfect so take note there images of the blog post you may have to resize your images so that it will fit very well and in the same line so that's it for the home page so i exit out of here so the next thing i'm going to do is enter some text for the rest of my pages like the privacy policy page terms of service and even the about page so i'll just do it for the about page so that you go ahead and do the rest so i just click on it so in here i just go ahead and enter my content and maybe i will make it in two paragraphs nothing much then i click on date and i can view the page so you can go ahead and enter the text for the rest of the pages the next thing i'm going to do is create a footer for my website you see that the footer too is messy so to do that i'll go to the back end then i go over to appearance and i click on elemental header and footer builder so i don't have any header or footer here i'll click on add new i'll skip this step and then in here i give it a title so i'll just call it footer then type of template i drop down the options and i choose footer and then display on I'll drop down the arrow and choose entire website then I go ahead and click on publish and I'll click on edit with Elementor to so design it with Elementor so it is open with Elementor I click on add section single column I'll go to elements then I drag in inner section so defaultly it will give me two columns I'll increase them to four awesome in the first column i'll select it just by clicking on the column icon the column width i make it 40 and the rest of the three i'll make them 20 20 across so i click on this so i change this to 20 20 and the last one automatically will be 20 perfect i'll change the background color so i click on edit section right here then I go to style and the background type I choose classic color I enter f6 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 and I go to advanced and I'm going to increase the pattern 
so I, I link the values top I make it 50 bottom 50 I'll insert another section a single column I'll go to style background type I choose classic color f6 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 by this time now I'll make it a little bit darker so I'll go back to elements and I scroll down to the end that is elemental header and footer builder the first thing I'm going to get is site logo even though I don't have site logo yet I will get it soon I drop it in here I go back to elements and I drag in the text editor so in here you can go ahead and enter some text about your company I'll leave it as it is for now next I go back to elements and I scroll to header and footer and I'm going to drag navigation menu in here and I'm going to select company for that perfect now I'll go to layout and then layout I choose vertical perfect and then the alignment you can set them to whichever alignment you want I'll leave it as left and the responsive breakpoints I make it none next I go to style and the vertical pattern I'll change it to 10 or maybe 6 I think 6 is cool then typography you can change it if you want so I think I'll make it 15 and next I go over to elements I think the setting is done and I drag in the heading element on top here and I'll name it company I go to style and I change the color to black typography I change the size maybe 20 so I don't like the position of this so I click on it so it will take me to edit navigation menu and the style the horizontal pattern I will make it six perfect next I'll go ahead and duplicate this for this particular column I just right click here duplicate and I drag it in here right click duplicate and I drag it in here so I'll select this then I go back to content so instead of company I choose social and it will display all my social links finally I go to elements and I drag in the text editor and I enter my contact details in here hit enter so I'll make the headings bold I'll go to style and the typography I'll decrease the size to 15 so if you have other information you want to add you can go ahead and do that however I'll duplicate this heading for this just grab it and drop it up here and I'll change it to contact next I go to elements and I scroll to header and footer then I grab copyright and drop it in here I'll change the text color to white I'll align the center so in here powered by maybe I'll say designed by Jiku pages web so I'm happy I click on update so I'll exit out of here by clicking here we exit to dashboard so that's it for creating our footer the next thing I'm going to do is customize my website so to do that I would like to do it from the front page so I click on customize so I'll start from site identity going down but I'll just keep them limited to what I need so I click on site identity and in here I'll choose a logo so I click on select logo upload files select files 
I have my logo in here. I select it, open. It is inserted. I select. I skip cropping, and I have my logo right there. So the color of my logo is in line with my button, and I will be changing some of the colors pretty soon. So now I don't want to display site title and tagline. So going down, I select site icon. That is the short icon that will display here. Upload files, select files, and I have my icon here. Open. Select. Skip cropping and it will appear right here. Perfect. I go back. Next is colors. So I'll change the primary color and then the secondary color. So the primary color, I'm going to make it black, completely black. So all my buttons will change to black right here. So if I go to the listing page, for instance, you see that. And then the secondary color, I'll enter in this color to match my logo. So the button here will change to that color. Perfect. I go back. Now I don't need header image. Menus. I think it's cool. So I think everything else is cool. So that's all the customizations I want to do. So you see my logo in here now. I click on publish and I exit out of here. Perfect. Now that the design of our website is done, let's see how a user can register on our website and also buy a package to make their listing. So I'll go to a different browser. So if a user land here and they want to add a listing, they'll just go ahead and click on add listing and it will direct them to the sign in page. So I don't have an account yet. So I go ahead and click on register. And in here, I enter my username, best cars, and then the email. Password. Then I go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions when I click on register. So please check your email to activate your account. So users will not be able to start using the website until they verify that their email is actually a working one. So I'll just go to my email and click on verify from there and get back to you. So I'll click on verify from my email. Now I'll click on return to my account and I've already logged in. So in here, I can set my profile image, my first name, last name, and the rest of the information. So I'll go ahead and click on add listing. And I'm going to add sports car. So images, I select image. I'll select this. Then I click on open. In the title, I call it black sports car. Something like that. 2020 model. The location is family perfect and the price brand is tesla the transmission is automatic and is using gasoline and it's a brand new i'll go ahead and enter my description and i agree to the terms I click on submit listing. And in here, I'll be required to buy a package. And I'll go in for the recommended or the ultimate. I'll choose ultimate so that I'll get 90 listings. So in here, I need to enter my billing details. And scrolling down right here, you see that sorry, it seems that there are no available payment methods for your state. Please contact us if you require assistance or wish to make alternate arrangements. So at this moment, I'll use it as an opportunity to show you how you can add payment gateways to your website. So I go to the back end. Then I go over to WooCommerce, then settings. I click on payments 
and I'm going to use direct bank transfer and I click on save changes I'll go ahead and manage it so I have the title description you can go ahead and add some instructions but I'll just leave it as it is then under account name I enter Diku cars account number then bank name new bank then the routing number nb123 and then the switch number is the same and i click on save changes so now if i come back in here and refresh the page i'll now see that i'll be able to place my order perfect so i'll fill this form pretty quick and get back to you so i'll fill the form and i'll go down and click on place order okay thank you your order has been received and this is my order number and this is the total amount i'll pay payment method is direct bank transfer so i'll receive a message in my inbox with regards to this particular order and as a webmaster i'll also receive an email with regards to this particular order if i go to listings my listing is not going to be parts anywhere or better still I'll narrow down my search by going to sports. Let's check to see if we'll get the black sports car. It's not in here. But if I go to my account, you will see that the order is on hold. Let me go to the back end to WooCommerce orders. So I have order from Best Cars which is on hold. I just click on it. Let's assume I've received the money. All what I need to do is change the status from on hold to completed then I'll go ahead and click on update so the user will receive a new message from us indicating that the order is being completed and will also receive same message in that regard so now that the order is completed if I go to the other user and refresh the page you see that they can now see their listings packages and what have you so i go to listings so i have the black sports car and it's still pending and i can also go ahead and view my packages and i'm sure i will be left with 59 listings to go sorry 89 the ultimate package is 90 listings so i'll go back to the back end and approve the listing so i go over to listings so this is the new listing take note after approving it is going to be a featured listing so i'll just go ahead and click on quick edit then under status i change it from pending review to published then i click on update so now the listing is live i can also make this particular listing a verified one by clicking on edit but before i do that let's go and check how the listing will come up so I go to listings and now it is active and I can click here to view it perfect but it is not a verified listing yet so I go back to the back end scroll down mark this listing as verified and I click on update now if I come back here to refresh the page you see that it's now verified perfect so that's it on how to add listings to the website and also buy a package as well so the next thing i'm going to show you is how to reply to listings so if i go to listings and maybe i like this particular car i click on it and i've gone through everything and i want to reply to this particular seller or send him a message i'll click on reply to listing take note you cannot send a message to your own listing and this particular listing is being added by a different seller so in here i'll enter my message is the car still available then i click on send message your message has been sent so i'll go back to the other user unfortunately i signed out let me quickly sign in 
you see that i have a new message right here i click on it and i go to messages and the message is coming from this sender so i go ahead and click on him and this is the message i've received so i can reply to it So I've entered in my message and I click on send message. Your message has been sent. Now let me refresh this page. You see the message in here and it is indicated sent right here. So now I'll go back to the back end of my website and if I refresh it, I'll also see an alert in here. Awesome. So I go ahead and click on it. And I click on messages and I have my message in here. Perfect. So if I have another message I want to add, I just click in here, enter my message, then click on send message. So that's it guys on how to make car listing website i hope this video was helpful if you found value kindly hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you'll be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one